Welcome back to Taltoro District, everybody. It's been an absolute age since I've posted a video. Uh, things have been really busy in the in the uh, in real life, and also just decided to take a bit of a break as I nearly wrecked this lizard rodeo. I thought I'd just take a bit of a break and um, just refresh myself a little bit, and um, yeah, just sort of get myself excited about things again. So here we are. We're back at Tal Tordo District, and I hope you're all well. One thing I want to say, guys, before I just get into this, before we just take a look around and give, I, mean, I give you an update on what's been going on here at Tal Tordo District, um, I've been getting back into doing a bit of streaming and Twitch, so check out the link down below to my Twitch channel. Um, I should be on a few times each week, so come and check it out. Uh, we'll run a few different games. Farming Sim will be one of them, along with a few others, so come and check it, check it out. Say hello, and uh, you know, press the notification uh, button in on my channel and that way you'll get a little email or a little notification telling you when I am online But quickly let's just quickly check out What we've been doing here in Tal Tordo And so what we're doing at the moment is we're in mid spring uh, Remember we're in seasons seasons mode seasons mod And so what we're doing is preparing a whole lot of fields that we're then going to plant in a range of crops And so we've got the the uh, fields up the top here eight nine and ten They've got oil seed radish in them, and once they're ready to cultivate, we'll do that. Then we've got these three fields down the bottom here. I keep forgetting the numbers. I probably could figure it out. Probably 35, 36, and 37, something like that. No, 36, 30, no, nothing. Who cares? These are the ones here. Uh, they all got oil seed radish in them too. Fields number 37, 43, and 44, I have ploughed, and I'm going to cultivate up and fertilize, etc., and get those nicely prepared. 39 has just been finished. Sorry, not 39, 46 has just been finished. And 47 is in the process of being completed. 40 has, is in the process of being completed. And also 39, there's actually another field in here. It's not actually partitioned out. So there's actually like a, a little ghost field in the middle here, which I'm working on at the moment. So I'm going to prepare all these fields through here. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 fields at a minimum. And I'll see how much time i got. I might look to actually prepare a couple more fields. But that's what's happening. At the moment, we're just in the preparation phase and looking to um, plow these up, fertilize them, cultivate, fertilize, then get some seeding done and um, put the third stage of fertilizing on and then we're good to go. Now, so let's get a couple of these workers underway. Actually, I need to do the headland on this one here before I... Oh, I suppose I could just let them... Yeah, how about we just... Uh, this could be a silly idea, guys, but let's just... I might just set him up and see whether he... I just, I'm just a bit worried that he won't be able to turn around. Just uh, back this back. But we'll get him underway. I'll make sure he overlaps here. And, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? Well, certainly the brake has not improved my backing skills, that's for sure. Uh, so there we go. So we'll get him lined up and we'll go, away you go, mate. And you go and cultivate that field. I'm a little bit worried that he won't turn around up the top there, but let's uh, go with it. This field here needs uh, quite a bit of clean-up, as you can see. So uh, I might as well do a little bit of that. Um, I'll do that later, actually. I'll do that later, because that's going to be a bit boring. What I've been doing down here, though, guys, is something... <laughs> so, this field here, and I'll bring up the map again, number 39. Uh, this little part of the map had two big stinking old trees in the middle of it. I cut one down here, and I cut one down over here. And so what I've been doing is just using the chainsaw and uh, chopping this tree up and then going and turning it into uh, wood chips to sell at the, um, at the, at the plant. Um, and I'll show you what I've been doing there. So we'll get into doing a bit of that while we'll have a bit of a chat. So let's get the... Uh, here we go. Get the old chainsaw in action. Oh, oh. And so just making these... Essentially making these um, pieces of wood just to small enough that I can actually pick them up by hand. This isn't the safest way to go about, about it, by the way. And then I'm just throwing in the back of the old lizard rodeo and then driving them up to the sawmill. Just waiting for that message to come through to say... There we go. 
I'm just waiting for the message to come through from up in that field to say that that turkey has completely forgotten how to turn around and that we need to go and help him out. We'll worry about that in a minute. But anyway, yeah, so we're in mid-spring. It's the middle of the afternoon. We're definitely getting to a point where we can start planting some crops, but it's just about field preparation at this point. So we'll just cut this, uh, this bit here. So what I might do, guys, is... I will go ahead and just uh, cut up a few pieces of these of this wood and I will join you back in a second when I've got, once I've got that done. Catch you soon. Okay team, we have got a pretty full looking back of our ute here. So what we're going to do is let's just tie down this load. Now obviously without having the proper forestry equipment, uh, cutting down just two trees can take quite a while and particularly the size look at the size of those bloody trunks here I reckon if I could um, if I'd had the proper equipment to cut them down and then sell them which I could always rent I suppose um, you know there's some big money to be made in these particular trees I reckon they're pretty massive but anyway in the meantime what we'll do is we'll go and drop these off to the sawmill which is over here and um, once I finish this episode I'll come back to this and just do this offline because I think it's going to take a bit of a while take a bit of Time, I should say. In fact, I might do it on stream, could be the way to go. But as we uh, move our way through all this. Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Hey! And oh, that was uh, outstanding driving right there. But also, just proves that these straps are very strong. Uh, they've obviously passed quality testing. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, didn't lose one log. Outstanding. Anyway, let's just hope that the health and safety officials are not on the farm today or else I'm going to be in a world of hurt. But we just work our way down here. It's a beautiful day here in Tel Toro District. Look at it. Beautiful. A balmy 13 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I would say it's probably maybe 65, 70 maybe? I don't know. Something like that. No, probably not 70. Maybe in the 60s? I'm not too sure. It's not like me mega warm, to put it that way. But uh, mid-spring, just okay. Probably sh short sleeves weather after uh, doing all that cutting of logs, etc. Got my trailer down here. But what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm just going to back this up into here. Um, or I might not. I might just smash it up, whatever. Whatever takes my fancy at the time. Let's get rid of that. Out we get. So this is, I think this is a sawmill mod actually, I'm not too sure, I haven't done a lot of forestry in the past. And you can just sell the logs straight out, but I, I'm going to do it this way because these are really small and I just don't get the, the value perhaps that I'm looking for. So what we're going to do is grab these and just throw them. I am quite uh, strong clearly, if I can pick up these and throw them. They're like big discus. Like a big disc. Oh, look at this. That was a top effort, wasn't it? Come on. Yeah, grab it. Grab it. Look at that. That is a mega sized bloody piece of wood right there. Whoops. Throw them in there, they disappear. So I'll just get this done. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, here we are, guys. We've thrown all our wood in there and it's chopping it up into wood chips. I wouldn't be going down there if I was you. That's just a little tip. I also managed to drop a piece of wood down in here and I can't get it. That was a, that was a bit of an effort on my behalf. But anyway, what we'll do guys is we'll run over here and we will grab our tractor. We've got our Case IH with our tipper on the back here. And we just move it over underneath the wood chipping plant. Over here. Just uh, knock out that fence on the way. That's definitely a good way to go. So we'll move it over here. Let's just back it in underneath. Now, I did this the other day. But I need the button. I've got to push. But I don't remember what it is. There we go. Oh, no, I don't have to push anything. So it's filling up with wood chips. Now, from my from memory, I don't think wood chips are actually worth a heck of a lot. But it's better to get something out of uh, chopping down those trees as opposed to nothing whatsoever. But So 2,249 litres only 10% of this trailer and then we rock on over here the little furnaces or whatever the hell these things are that's something sorted out and here we go we tip it out and let's see hey. 
Is that not tip? Try that again. Now we're going. Okay, so we'll tip these out into the machines. And $426! Ha! That was it. That is not a lot. Let's turn that off. And let's get back over to these fields. Oh, see, I thought this guy... I thought this guy wouldn't... Yeah, I knew he wouldn't be able to handle it. Anyway. Let's turn this back on. We might as well just get this headland started. Yeah, so look, not a lot out of doing those... Um, Definitely not a lot of money to be made out of those wood chips. Although, if you filled up the entire trailer, what would you get out of it? What I get? 426. So I filled up the entire trailer. The whole trailer would be worth uh, like 10 times that, about, you know, about $5,000. Not a lot. Not a lot. Definitely, I think, more money in forestry where you cut them into big long logs and then sell them like that. Uh, certainly a lot more money in that. So, anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this headland completed. The headland on this, and then I'll go down the other side here and do the headland down there just to give this tractor enough room to turn around, the worker enough room. And another, I just realised actually, just realised something. I'm pretty sure, let's just turn that off. I'm pretty sure I have not fertilised that field yet. No, I have not. I have not fertilised that field. We need to do that first. Luckily we hadn't done much. Let's turn it on. Oh, wrong button. Let's fold this up and just park them over in the forest here. And we actually need to fertilise first. We don't want to miss out on a stage of fertilising because we'll fertilise after ploughing. We'll fertilise after... Um, we'll get rid of that. We'll fertilise after cultivating and then we'll fertilise we'll fertilise after sowing. Right, I'll go and grab the fertilizer, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back up here at the field with our fertilizer. Lucky we remembered that, we are going to have a bit of a patch here that needs to need an additional fertilized stage later on. But anyway, let's get this fired up. Make sure that we're covering the whole Oh jeez, what is going on there guys? Look at that slide. Oh my god. Woo! Look at that slide. Oh my god. What is going on there? Is that my weight on the front right here? It's not loving it, eh? Because it's... Oh, because it's... Oh, it's... It's done. Yeah, it looked like they fixed it. I think it, I think it was actually bottom, bottoming out or something like that. We'll rip around here. Get them, uh, get this all fertilised out. Now these little patches here, the green patches here, I uh, they're just textures. They're not actually ploughable at all. So I'm going to have these little green patches in the middle of my field, but that's not a big deal. We can we can deal with that later on. Work away here. So yeah, that's been it. Like I said at the start of the video, it's been ages since I've. Uh, made a video. We, I think it's five weeks or six weeks maybe. It's been good just to have a bit of a break. I've been playing um, quite a few games in the meantime. Uh, just relaxing. I uh, decided this year, I, I wasn't going to pick up Madden this year. I suck at playing it by the way. I suck at playing. But I do enjoy it and I finally caved in and picked up Madden. Anyway, what I decided this year to do with Madden is rather than um, rather than do my old buy a whole lot of packs and do pack opening and all that sort of stuff, I decided that I, this year I'm not going to spend one cent on Madden. Apart from buying the game, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on packs and stuff. So what I've managed to do is actually managed to um, get into the auction house and do a lot of a lot of dealing in the auction house, you know, buying and selling players. I've actually managed to accumulate um, about half a million coins so far, which is pretty decent. In the meantime, I'm playing quite a few solo just to get um, uh, get my skill and my team up and buy some new players uh, with the money that I earn through those, as well as the players that you can earn. And I haven't got a great team, it's only like 81 overall or something like that. But it's been a heck of a lot of fun actually, a lot more fun than I thought uh, playing the game without um, spending any money on it. So I might actually throw a video up at some stage, just showing how I've managed to do that. But yeah, you can definitely do it for sure. 
It means I haven't opened no any of the amount of packs, but it um, means I've spent no money at all. And, uh, I've actually found at times that I've enjoyed the auction house almost more than playing the game. <laughs> Bloody funny. So yeah, it's been fun doing that. Uh, apart from that, I have um, picked up Formula One 2017. I haven't really been into the Formula One games in the past. I didn't really like them that much, but this one here is outstanding. I'm really enjoying it. I've been playing it quite a bit. Um, I'm just an average driver. I'm not brilliant. I'm not terrible, but not brilliant. So once again, I was thinking of maybe throwing some gameplay up around that. I'll just have to see. It might be something I do on my Twitch stream instead. Um, apart from that, I'll continue to throw up, um, if me uh, do Farming Simulator. I'm keen to sort of get this series completed. And I've also been looking at Airport CEO, which is sort of like Prison Architect for those that have played that game except an airport version, and um, I've been thinking, well, I might actually, uh, it, it really looks like a game I think I'd enjoy, I'm into aviation, um, and that strategy nature of it, so that looks pretty cool. So one other game that I've been looking at is called Fields of Glory, or Field of Glory 2, it's based on the tabletop gaming, or tabletop game, um, and it's a turn-based turn -based strategy game, um, which is it's sort of set in the ancient right, ancient Roman time or Roman times. It looks like uh, quite a bit of fun. So I'm thinking I might pick that up too. Uh, what am I going to just turn this guy off? So yeah, it's um, yeah, plenty of uh, different options to get my teeth into. But if you've got any other suggestions for games that you'd like to see on the channel, let us know. I'm always open to trying new things out. Uh, can't promise the quality of gameplay will be any good in terms of skill level but um, we'll have a bit of fun while we do it but yeah like just another reminder that uh, check out the twitch check out my twitch channel if you get a chance a bit of fun so yeah the, the, the farm seems to be progressing along quite nicely uh, like I said before we've got 13 fields just about completed 14 in fact and um, <clears throat> that's going to give us plenty of opportunity to plant um, the top five sort of crops. So you're talking wheat, barley, um, um, corn, uh, probably uh, some, um, uh, what you would call it, kind of mental block, let's go in here. Uh, what have we got? Sorry, we've got uh, wheat. Um, canola is the one I was thinking of. Canola, wheat, barley, canola. We won't be doing sunflowers initially, but we will do be we will be doing soybeans and corn. So those will be the five. So maybe if we can get fifteen fields, we can get three fields of each crop planted. Now I do know soybeans and corn are not available to be planted at the moment because germination temperature isn't high enough. At seven degrees at the moment, I think those need to get up to ten degrees. So they'll be probably the last ones we do. It's just really going to come down to time, how much time, and we have got plenty of time because we're playing at one time speed, uh, you know, one minute equals a real minute in real time. Um, it does give us that opportunity to actually get quite a lot done. We've also got that silo sitting up in the silage pit, by the way, which is going to be quite handy once our money goes down a little bit because we're not going to realise a tremendous amount of income for quite a while, actually. And the reason behind that is, is that um, I'm going to store most of the crops, unless I desperately need to sell them, but I'm going to store them for a start because, and just really wait for that high demand or great demand. And in the meantime, I'll, you know, keep the silage going because that's a really great way of generating income. Um, the other thing I need to do actually before, we, before it gets into winter and rains and all that sort of stuff is actually go ahead and mow those grass paddocks also um, produce some um, hay bales and some grass bales and stuff like that just to make sure we've got a good supply and some straw bales just to make sure we've got a good supply of food for over the winter for all our sheep and our cows um, and once we've got everything established then we're going to be in a position that we can sort of start thinking about okay what are we going to introduce maybe we're going to look at um, doing some different crops maybe get into the root crops like potatoes which are really profitable scenario all that sort of stuff so we've got a bit to think about but anyway guys i think what we'll do is we'll leave the episode here i don't know how long it's going to be um we'll edit it down and make sure it's a palatable chunk and um 
yeah, we'll look to start getting the regular episodes back up and running. So I just want to say a huge thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like button down below. It costs nothing at all, except a little bit of self-respect. Same for subscribing. Nothing at all. It costs no nothing. I'm honest, it costs nothing at all. Just go and smash it. Uh, make sure you check me out on Twitch again. I'll just be banging on about that. It's a lot of fun. Come and say hello. Have a chat live. And uh, as always, until next time, everybody, take it easy.